Hi everyone. I've stopped counting the weeks we've been working and learning remotely, but I hope you've had a good one. This week, I'm going to talk about four things. Some future learning delivery planning underway with government and other post-secondaries, new student funding from the federal government, volunteer week, and introduce Ben Slaxton, Director of BCIT Corporate Services, who's had a key role in keeping our campuses running in our absence. I know you're all wondering when we'll be able to start experiencing a little bit more freedom, and I feel the same way. The more we comply with the province's guidelines, the quicker and more safely we'll get through this together. Our academic and student services teams are looking at various scenarios for the summer and fall. It's expected that post-secondary stay closely aligned with government and take a sector-wide approach to ensuring both safety and quality as we move forward. We'll share more on the future plans as they're approved. I'm proud of the quality of the online work that you've done in such a short space of time. And again, thank you for all you're doing in this regard. We're actually very happy as well to hear the recent announcement from the federal government regarding new student support, which will help BCIT students with funding between May and August. It offers paid national and community service opportunities as well as a job creation program for students and recent grads this summer. You can learn more about these programs on our COVID-19 webpage. This adds to the BCIT Emergency Response Fund, which I discussed previously. And I'd like to thank all of those of you who've donated, including a special nod this week to the BCIT Retirees Association for their recent contribution. Speaking of contributions, this is National Volunteers Week, and I'd like to thank the many of you who volunteer at BCIT. We really could not do this without you. I'm so sorry that we aren't gathered together to honor you this year as we usually do, but I promise we'll have a big celebration when this is over. You are so appreciated. While many of you give so much to BCIT, I'm also very proud that BCIT gives back to our communities in various ways. Recently, BCIT and Chartwell staff provided a thousand meals in partnership with BC Housing and other social service agencies working to meet food insecurity needs in our community. I'm going to ask Vince Laxton to tell you a little bit more about this and some other initiatives the team has undertaken in the past few weeks. In the meantime, have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe and I'll see you next week. Here's Vince with more. Thanks, Kathy. Our, our business is focused on serving students at our campuses. So the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted almost every facet of our operations. The bookstore has now pivoted to a direct online sales model for the summer term. We are providing direct shipments of all learning materials uh, with no delivery charge and have shipped over 2,000 direct-to-student orders in the month of April. And I just want to give a big thanks to the entire team in logistics, imaging, and bookstore who've really rallied to make this all happen. In our food services operations, the majority of our uh, food services has been uh, closed during the pandemic. So we're looking at other ways to utilize our resources. And a, a good example of this is a few weeks ago, we worked with our partner Chartwells uh, to produce a thousand meals for uh, BC Housing. And the constraints of social distancing along with safe food handling practices is a very difficult task, but the team accepted the challenge and were able to produce and ship 1,000 meals within 24 hours. That's a lot of production and a lot of lasagna, so great job to that team. We will continue to pursue collaboration with other external organizations and find innovative solutions to meet the demands of our community, along with meeting the ongoing needs of ECIT students, staff, and faculty. Thanks everyone.